Can I tell you all about a dream that I had? I believe I had it last night or yesterday morning. I forget which. Anyways, I was having this really silly demonic dream. And I forget if it was a man or a woman, but I was being chased by this person. And this person was hitting me with a whip. I tried to fight back, but it was like I did not have the energy I did not have the power to fight back and I could not run at all. So I was getting hit by this whip over and over and over again. And in this dream, like I said, dreams are not dreams. Dreams are supernatural experiences. So I was being hit and I could feel the pain, which is crazy. And like I said before, I could not run. I could not protect myself. I was being hit. How can I say this? I was really defenseless. And I just had to take the pain, which was a really terrible feeling. What came to my mind? What if you go to hell? You see, in many of these demonic dreams, the last dream and the dream before it, <clears throat> I am being hit by women or men with these whips. I believe I had perhaps three or more dreams where I am being hit by whips. Imagine if you are in hell where demons have full authority over you. My Lord. Imagine the constant torment day and night. Imagine not being able to leave that place. At least with me, when I have a dream, I can wake up. But if you are in hell, there is no waking up because where you are at, it is real. As in, you can't leave the place that you are in. And I was being hit and I could not run. I don't know why. I could not run. I could not fight back. It was like I was too weak to do anything. As if I was drained down to 20% of my energy or 10%. Like I could not function at all. I could just stand there and get hit over and over and over again. We have to understand that My Lord, if you are not right with God now, it is best to get right with God now because we have no idea when we are going to die. That dream or dreams that I had about being hit by whips, that stuff was painful, my Lord. And I thought that 
I was not dreaming. As I stated before, dreams are not dreams. Dreams are real. Dreams are supernatural. But every time I was being hit by that whip, I felt it <laughs> every single time. Like a very, how can I say this? <laughs> I guess I can say a very sharp, painful pain if that makes any sense to you. Like I was being beat or tortured or something like that. And I serve God. <laughs> I don't play around and have sex before marriage and cuss people out and all this stuff here. I watch what I do and say every single day making sure that if I do do anything wrong, I repent of it quickly. I don't play around, but yet I still have these dreams. I have no clue why. But imagine being in hell where you are being hit and it is never going to end. That is crazy. So never ending pain. On top of that, you are being set on fire or you are in the fire, being burned, burned alive and never ever being able to die. Because once you die on earth, your spirit is going to go to hell if you refuse to live for God. There is no more death. So once you are in hell, you can't die. You are conscious. So you are feeling everything. You are sensing everything. My Lord. Even in my dreams, that is torment alone being hit by that whip that many times. And that person or those people that were hitting me, I believe they were happy to hit me forever if they could. I am trying to tell you, my Lord, Some people say that they don't care about going to hell, my Lord. Just ask <laughs> God to give you my dreams and you are going to quickly change your mind. Imagine going to hell though, not being able to leave. I was listening to this video and if I am saying this right, the nicest part of hell is worse than all the pain. Let me say this. Let's say that you were able to concentrate all the suffering on this earth in one place. From what this video said, that the best part of hell is worse than that place on earth. If you are able to focus all the sufferings on this earth, so let's call this place A. So the best part of hell where you are not being tormented as much as everywhere else, that place is worse than place A, my Lord. 
But some people say that they are ready to die. They are ready to go to hell. Really? So I just wanted to tell you about this. About these demonic dreams that I have been having. Being hit by whips. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> and it made me think of people who are being hit by whips and not being able to leave hell. My Lord. Just constant being hit. I believe too. I was watching this other testimony about hell. And I believe that person and some others were saying, when you are in hell, you are not at 100% energy. It is like your energy is decreased, perhaps down to 20 or 10% maybe even lower. So I believe in those dreams that I was having, I am getting parts and pieces of how it is going to be parts and pieces for people who choose not to serve God or something like that. It is horrible being hit by a whip it is horrible and I could not move out the way. I could not grab the whip. I could not fight back. I had to stand there and take it. My Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. Give your life to God now. I'm serious. Nothing in this world is worth being sent to hell over with having these dreams and supernatural experiences it shows me how foolish it is to not give your life to god i'm serious i am so serious whatever happened to you in the past it's not worth hating a person over. It is not worth staying bitter over. Forgive. Of course, you may not forget, but forgive and move on. Because if you don't forgive, we have to understand that if we choose to not forgive our enemies, God is not going to forgive us. So if God does not forgive us, guess where you are going to be? Not heaven. You are going to be in hell when you die. And it is not worth it. Forgive. Move on. Obey God's rules and regulations. Read your Bible. Pray. Ask God for help. I know for myself, I ask God for help so much. There is nothing wrong with it. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.